Oh, okay. Yeah, lots and lots of funny things. Um, um, I think probably early in my career when I was in Australia, um, I think, yeah, yeah, there was actually a line of events. Um, and I think it's difficult to, to really sort of you know, uh, remember back to exactly what it was. But when I was, um, I was playing quite often for the Elizabethan Theatre uh, Orchestra and, or the, and the Australian Ballet. And um, so we had a concert. We had, I think, Sleeping Beauty. I think it was Sleeping Beauty or no, um, it was Romeo and Juliet at the Palais Theatre in St Kilda. It was on the, on, on the beach, place on the beach, and it was a hot summer's night. And um, so I got to the, um, got turned up at the theatre and I um, went to get my instrument out of, the, um, out of the boot of the car and uh, it wasn't there. So this is the number one thing that happened. So I lived very close, so I had to go back home and get it and uh, made it back in time. And it so happened that it was in the middle of summer and we were having a grasshopper plague. You know what a grasshopper is? Yes. A grasshopper plague. And um, it was very, very humid, just like in Brazil probably, very humid and um, so sweaty. Everybody was perspiring and it was horrible. And the ballet dancers, um, they were dancing on stage and there were these grasshoppers all over stage, the stage. So they were trying to dance around them and squishing all over them. <laughs> and, um, and then also in this Sleeping Beauty, obviously there was a sword fight. And in the rehearsals, they were rehearsing, rehearsing, rehearsing. And in one of the, the um, scenes, the, one of them picks, uh, drops the sword and the other one flicks the sword up. So in this performance, the, um, I forget who, who it was, but one of them picked, flicked the sword up and it went straight into the orchestra pit. <laughs> it didn't, didn't get anybody. <laughs> and then this is, this is really things that happened and in one performance. And then at the end of it, um, those days we had, um, who was it? Um, the, the chief conductor of the the opera, then uh, I can't remember. But anyway, some uh, there were three conductors, and uh, so they all come out at the end with the solo soloists. They were all taking a bow, and then the curtain came down at the wrong time, and everybody was flattened to the ground. So <laughs> it, it was <laughs> a chain of events which would, would happen very rarely, but they were quite. Funny, uh, but, <laughs> but dangerous, but quite funny.